President Obama will be proposing new taxes on the wealthiest Americans at his upcoming State of the Union address. This will tax profits on investments for the wealthiest Americans and also make it a little more difficult to pass assets tax free to their heirs. And in exchange, President Obama will be enacting a new series of tax cuts for the middle class. President Obama on uh, um, January 20th tomorrow will be talking about this new plan, which will take a lot of those proceeds from the new taxes, 320 billion over 10 years and expand tax credits for higher education, expand child care, create a new tax break for two earner couples, etc. So under the plan, the capital gains tax for couples with incomes over five hundred thousand dollars per year would be raised from its current level of twenty three point eight percent to twenty eight percent. The plan would also eliminate a tax break known as a step up, which allows heirs to avoid capital gains taxes on large inheritances. And the plan would also put a new tax on the biggest financial institutions, basing the fee on liabilities in order to discourage the risky types of borrowing that we saw uh, at least partially to blame for the financial crash of the George W. Bush presidency. And there also would be an extension of the earned income tax credit to families without children, which would benefit about 13 million low income workers. According to officials, these new taxes would almost exclusively impact the top 1% of income earners. Note that tax uh, the taxes for middle class Americans have actually decreased under President Obama. He has lowered taxes for most people. When he took office in 2007, the middle 20 percent of households had an effective tax rate of 14.4 percent and the top one percent paid 27.4 percent. By 2014, that middle group has seen their tax rate decline to 13.7, while the wealthiest have seen a bump to 33.4 percent. Lewis. I can say all day, I can spend the whole hour talking about how this will mostly impact the 1%. And this is a tax cut, a further tax cut for those with middle and lower incomes. But still, you will see those earning lower and middle incomes support the policies of the Republican Party, which benefit the 1%, a group which most of these individuals will never belong to. Right. There's uh, still a lot of misinformation out there. and and voters are falling for it. This is uh, this is a good thing, but I'm still not hearing enough talk about all the big tax loopholes for big companies and how uh, companies that are making billions of dollars in profit are paying nothing in taxes. But Lewis, they're job creators. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, they're certainly creating plenty of jobs in other countries. We, we can say that with certitude. Yeah, there's no question about that. So we will see exactly how President Obama outlines this tomorrow evening at the State of the Union address.